As great a game as Valorant is, it isn't perfect and often runs into issues. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candid or Technology and in this video we're talking about what to do if Valorant is not updating. So if Valorant isn't updating on your system, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're connected to the internet. Um, uh, so as you can see, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network and if I were to test my internet connection right now, I can go ahead and run a quick speed test and I can confirm that my internet connection is working, which means Valorant should update as expected. Uh, once you've verified that your internet connection is working, you can then go back and restart the update. The next thing is uh, you can try and reset or repair your game files. Now to do that, launch the Riot client. So um, you can open the Riot client, wait for it to start up. Uh, and once it's open, click on your profile icon right here and go to settings. Uh, select Valorant from the list. Uh, you can also change the patch line if you have access to the beta but we'll just leave that setting intact make sure that auto updates are enabled and uh, just click the repair button this will uh, look through all the missing game files or will check the game installation and make sure that everything is in place so that when you start the update uh, it doesn't have to figure out where the files are or it doesn't run into any problems whatsoever If this also doesn't work, the next thing that you can do is reinstall Vanguard. So just right click your start menu and click on installed apps. Wait for it to open up and uh, just search for Vanguard. Give it a moment. So Vanguard is the anti-cheat service that Valorant uses and it can sometimes cause problems uh, with the game not launching or uh, cause uh, other, any other issues like it's not updating or things like that. So simply go here and click uninstall. And uh, now when you try to update Valorant, Valorant will automatically, uh, the Riot client actually, will automatically download Vanguard, install it, and then run the update again. So this can potentially resolve your issue. Next up uh, is firewall. So just open fire menu uh, open the windows menu and search for firewall and uh, we can just click firewall and network protection here uh, click the allow an app through firewall option and uh, go through this list to make sure that valorant is in here so as you can see i have valorant selected but it's not allowed through any private or public firewalls so I can click the change settings button and it's allowed through a private firewall, but I'll also allow it through a public one and um, I can click OK. And that's it. Now, when you restart the update, it should work just fine. Finally, uh, you have uh, two more options that you can try. Number one is to run the valorant app as administrator and if that doesn't work you can try and look for a windows update so if you open windows settings and go to windows update you'll see that i have an update pending now operating system updates don't usually hinder programs from launching but it can sometimes be the case so in such cases just make sure that your operating system is up to date so that any files that the updater needs are already present on your system and it can run the update just fine and that's how you can resolve updating issues on Valorant. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, Candidate Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.